Cut above Max 2 Topman Street am Nachmittag. <lacht> Nicht rauchen. Support NYPD. Ja, einfach mal öffnen. Hm. Not very appetizing. No. Frozen solid. Who would want to eat this? He's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have mm -hmm. any. Right. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. So, da könnten wir durchgehen, aber gucken wir uns das mal wo das an. Ach, da können wir auch den Klingel benutzen. That that's what Beast was mhm. talking about. Person ist Michael. Hm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before ja. at the Tweedles. Mhm. Ah, da kommt ja schon jemand. Big B Wolf. Well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <laughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see some adaptive performance shows. On special, New York Strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, muss erst mal gucken, was er da so hat und liest sie vom Zettel ab. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? Deswegen weißt du auch nicht, was du da verkaufst. <lacht> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything Ach so. else. We just uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I, Sheriff, I... Yeah, what's that? Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Mm-hmm. 
Der hat gerade den Knopf da betätigt, oder nicht? Ja. Shit. Mhm. Wird richtig gesehen. Hey, hinten ist gleich durcheinander. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. <lacht> I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Hm. Mm. Warum drückst du den Alarmknopf? Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you got to be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. Huh? Huh? He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Big B. Please don't. Big B? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Listen. Just calm the fuck down, okay? Just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down the hook in the deep <laughs> freeze. Hey, do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from <laughs> me a long time ago. Crew? The crooked man's people. Yeah, klar, wer denn sonst? Die and dumb and that mental case Bloody Mary. You, you want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool mm -hmm. in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place yeah. up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Ich glaube, wenn irgendwie das ausgenutzt wird. Das klingt irgendwie. Das klingt irgendwie für mich im ersten Mal plausibel, dass er vielleicht mal ausgenutzt wird. Also wer gleich wegläuft und den Alarm drückt. Da habe ich nicht unbedingt, dass er viel damit zu tun hat. Ich glaube, der wird genauso wie Beauty und Beast auch einfach nur ausgenutzt. Weil so ein Metzgerladen ist doch eine schöne Tarnidentität dafür. Drogenlabor da hinten zum Beispiel, ne? Und um die Pakete auszuliefern. Mit den Drogen. Oder was er da auch immer für Chemie zusammenrührt. Ah, den roten Knopf für dich und das ist wahrscheinlich da der Alarm eingegangen. What is this place? I told you, Big B. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning. Hm, da ist sie gerade gewarnt. This business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. You'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Yeah, from wo soll ich denn sein, wenn der Laden übernommen wird, Digga? Wenn du sie weißt, wo soll ich da sein? Dann war ich vor dem Spiel, da weiß ich ja nicht, was er so treibt. Ja, hab ich schon fast gedacht. Dass sie diese Dinger da. Da zusammenbrauen, hab ich mir schon fast gedacht. 
in dem Chemielabor habe ich gerade auch überlegt. So was wegen der Flasche. You want to talk T-Bones? <laughs> That I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Hmm. Village Quay? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs the gear, slave labor to work it. So these must be the orders. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. Mm -hmm. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's he's enslaving fables. On my watch, mm -hmm. people just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah. Stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. It's fucking broken. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The lucky pawn. Yeah. They probably took Crane there too. The lucky pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there. I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Oh, no, no, well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't gonna be understanding about Bigby Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there and we'll uh we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you. Ja, der will, wie gesagt, ich kaufe ihm ab, dass er einfach bloß benutzt wird. Dann will ich ihm natürlich auch helfen, weil uns auch irgendwie geholfen hat hier weiter, ne? Müssen ja sein, benutzt, ja. So fliegt er auch, als wenn es mal nichts sind, wenn man dann benutzt. No. Falkfall schaltet, der dir über das Land herrschte. Du hast Kapitel 3 abgeschlossen.